Good morning, 10th graders. Uh, I want to talk to you guys for a few minutes on why you're taking the practice ACT this morning. As you guys know, the ACT is kind of the benchmark exam for college entrance. Anyone scoring above a 21 on the ACT is eligible for a lottery scholarship in the state of Tennessee. And uh, our goal is to get to have all of our students score above a 21. But that's, uh, that's hard to do, so we want to give you all some practice opportunities to, to experience the test. Uh, and then you can grow through those opportunities. So uh, the couple reasons why we do the practice ACT is because it's a, it's a longer test than what you're used to taking. It's longer than the teen ready assessments you're having throughout the rest of these next couple weeks because you're taking four different subtests at a time. And a lot of times when kids take the ACT, part of the reason they don't score as well is because they just get tired. They suffer from test fatigue. So we want you guys to experience what a real ACT test feels like before you take it, the test that counts for you next school year. So while the juniors are taking the ACT, that counts for them. You guys are taking the practice ACT with the same kind of testing environment. So you're used to it when you experience that next school year. Also, we do use the results in this practice ACT to build a personalized ACT study pathway for you. Many of you guys will be involved in our ACT prep, ACT prep class next fall, next spring, where you'll use, we will use the results of this test to have a pathway of, of study uh, sessions for you to use online. For example, you're going to get a math, uh, you'll take the math subtest and you'll get a pathway of math that says here are the three skills that you need to get better at to more, in order to move your ACT score higher uh, along the pathway. We've used this for the last uh, couple years. We've seen really good results from this and it's so that each kid gets exactly what they need for their ACT pathway. So I want to encourage you guys to do your best to focus on this test, to finish strong on it. Don't quit. Read all those passages and use all the uh, test taking skills that you have to give your best effort as you start getting ready for your journey for your ACT next school year. Thanks very much and have a great day.